Okay, it's Crafting with Lois, and today we're going to make a homemade jelly plate. This one isn't quite thick enough, but it'll work, and I will make another one later. So what we did for our jelly plate, this is like the one that they sell at Hobby Lobby, is we took um, one and a half cups of glycerin. It has to be 100% glycerin. Then we took one and a half cups of water, and then seven packets of the unflavored gelatin from Knox. And what you're going to do is you're going to dissolve the gelatin inside of the glycerin in a bowl. And this is a bowl that you're just going to use for crafts. You're never going to use it for food again. And dissolve that gelatin all up and, and then pour in your, your one and a half cups hot water. Um, make sure your water was boiling. But anyway, this was made into a 9 by 13. This is one and a half cup. So if you was wanting to make another one, I would almost triple it so you've got a thicker jelly plate because you can see where mine has torn from the bottom side. It didn't tear on the top. Now this isn't going to mold. You don't have to store it in the refrigerator. You just leave it out on the counter. Um, let it set up. I let mine set up overnight. And you're going to ink it up with an ink roller and whatever brand it doesn't make any difference whatever brand of acrylic paint that you want to use you see i've got all kinds of varieties different brands you're going to use um a piece of paper you can see i don't know if you can see that or not where i've used decorative scissors to make fun edges i'll show you what we're going to do with those fun edges you're going to use a wide variety of rubber stamps. Here's a roller stamp. I believe it's probably Stampin' Up. And we've got some just regular wooden red rubber stamps. And then we've got some fun foam stamps. And we're going to make designs in it. These I did earlier. And you can see, let me turn this around. You can see where I put in the little banner stamp and it lifted up some of the paint and I did the feather stamp and it lifted up some paint. These are just some colors I did. The ones we're going to do now are going to be a lot lighter colors. Although that one's kind of fun and pretty. I kind of like that one. And this one I actually, after I got it done, I sprayed it with some Glimmer Mist. This one was the orange. And uh, we had a green in here that I sprayed. This one was the green. So it kind of gave it a different hue and it kind of took the brightness out to where it wasn't so scary looking. Um, this is what the design is going to make with the uh, piece of paper that we used our decorative scissors on. So you can see where the banners are, and I've used my little paper on it. This one, I actually was just cleaning up my stamp, my jelly plate, and I kind of like that one. It's a lot lighter colors. So we're going to have some fun here. Let me get these out of the way. And this is, if you're wanting to not get messy, this is probably not the thing for you. We're just going to make little piles of paint. There's some purples. There are some pinks, and hopefully this one won't be so dark. But some people like the junk books and will enjoy that dark look. Like the Tim Holtz, they like the grunge look. Whoops, that was a lot of paint. And let's add a little bit of white in there. Alrighty. This is a very messy, messy craft, but it's really fun. Ooh, I like that. Now, if your plate was a lot thicker than mine, that's why I said you probably want to triple the recipe that I gave you, because sometimes when I go to the edge and I pull up, my edges want to come with me. Alrighty, that looks, that looks pretty. I like that. So let's see, let's put uh, Valentine's Day's coming up. Those are kind of Valentine colors. So you're just going to lay that down, pop it up, set that to the side. Here's another one. We're just going to put some of those in there. 
And here's an I love you. Let's put it down here at the bottom of these. Oh yeah, that looks fun. So then you're just going to take your paper. Now if you had a jelly plate that was a lot, a 12 by 12, then you could do scrapbook size. These I'll probably use in cards or tags. So you're just going to put that on there. Pat it down. Here comes the messy part. You're going to get it all over your hands. There ain't no way around it. And you can see where the hearts have come off. Isn't that pretty? So we're going to set that to side and let it dry. So basically what you're doing is just making your own pattern paper. Alright, so this one, let's put my favorite thing. Let's put a ladybugs in it. I like the ladybugs. Everybody knows I like the ladybugs. And let's put a big old flower right here in the center. There we go. And let's take a piece of paper and let's see what we get. Oh, it's going to be pretty. Wow, look at that. You can see my ladybugs. You can see my flowers. That'd be a really pretty design for a card or a junk journal, art journal. But, let me see if I can get this and open really quick. Let's add some yellow in here. It's kind of a yellowish green. Should have had these open before I started. Let's do it this way. Maybe. Maybe not. Here, let's just... But that was loud. Sorry about that. Well, there's some in there. There we go. It's kind of a spring green color, isn't it? And let's add some metallic. How pretty would that be, right? Almost like Easter colors, isn't it? Is it a different design for sure? All right, let's see. This one looks like it's also Valentine's. There's little hearts. There's a big heart and some flowers. Let's just run it. So nice and messy. Kind of reminds you when you was playing as a kid. Let's throw some more hearts in there. Some of the paint off of it and let's do this one again that's a nice big heart and then just for fun let's throw some banners right through here all right and let's print this off you just put it down you're just kind of smishing the edges Don't worry about what you get on the back because nobody's going to see it. Like I said, it's a messy craft. And then pull it off. It's kind of like a surprise. You never know if it's going to be good or if it's going to be bad. And the good thing about it is you can always do it again. Alright, so now we've got this one. Let me shake up our glimmer mist. And this one is a pretty color. So we're just gonna spray it around there. Isn't that pretty? I don't know if you can see that or not, but it kind of toned down the colors, kind of gave it like an antique -y look. If you can see it compared to what's on the palette on the jelly plate. It's just a little lighter. It lightens it up a little bit. But let's try Let's add some white in here. 
that and let's add some of this pretty turquoise color. I guess I should have picked bottles that had more in it. Okay. Let's see how this will turn out. Kind of looks like a, a hot mess, doesn't it? I think we need some more color in there. What do you think? Oopsie. Now that wouldn't do that if I had a thicker pad. So, that's why I say triple the recipe and make you a bigger one. I think we need maybe some of the pink in there. And I'll show you how we're going to use the decorative paper. Let's roll. We're just going to ink this up. It's all about playing. We're just going to make some wiggly lines. That didn't really turn out, did it? Alright, so let's add some pink in there. Get some pink going. Alright, so what you're going to do with this fun piece of paper that just looks like nothing. So amazing. So stinking amazing. We're going to take it and we're just going to lightly drag it. But as we're dragging it, we're going to wiggle it back and forth. Doesn't that bring back your tie-dye days? and brings out the colors that's underneath. And we're going to slap a great big old, let's see, what do we got here? I thought we had a flower. We do. We got a great big old flower. We're going to put a big flower right there and lift it up. Now, let's see what we get. Smoosh, 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 smoosh. Brings back your kid in our gardener days. And lift it up. What do we got there? Oh, isn't that pretty? Can you see that? Gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. Alright, we're going to do one more. And that will be the end of that. Oops. There goes my jelly pad. Getting away from me. We just got to make sure we make it a little bit bigger. You know what? Here's what we're going to do. That's getting kind of a modded gray look. We're just going to lay something down. But before I do, let me get something down here and see if I can't get some kind of design going here. And I'm going to clean this jelly plate a little bit. And this is how you're going to clean it at the end of your play time. Because you're just going to throw some pads down there and clean it and lift some of that off. They tell you to make a design because you never know when you lift it up. You're like, oh man, how cool is that? I wish I'd have put a design on. So let's add some purple right here where we got some lifted up. And then let's add some more yellow. Yellow and purple. It's good colors. I may have got too much on there. Nah, I never have too much. Oh, that's kind of pretty. Look at that. You just never know. What was that that uh, that movie said? Life is like a box of chocolates. You never know what you're going to get. There we go. Let's add a little bit of white in there. Just because. Let me get some of the ink off of my roller. There we go. Look at that. Pretty, 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 pretty. And we're going to do lines this way. And we're just going to wiggle them in. Look at that. Some of the paint gets lifted off and we end up with different colors. Gorgeous. Now we're going to do, uh, let's do the feather. We haven't done the feather yet. We're just going to throw some feathers down here and see what they come out as. Put our paper down, smish it down. Gorgeous. Okay, let's see what kind of chocolate we got. 
beautiful. Isn't that pretty? Now, I was wondering, I'm going to experiment here. We're going to just go ahead and spray this with our Glimmer Mist and see what we come up with. Let's put a little gold down there, and we've got some green here. You want to make sure you shake these good enough that you get all the stuff off the bottom, all your glitter. Otherwise, it ain't going to glimmer. And let's put some green right there. I think we need a little bit more gold down here. We didn't quite get enough. Now, our rigid design is still there, so it might be kind of cool to see what we come up with. I want to do a shout out to Noni, Gail, Gwen, and Sandy. Howdy, girls! Alrighty, so here we go. Let's see what we come up with. Beautiful! So, so beautiful. Okay, so that's all there is to it. Now you've watched me play with my jelly plate. Now it's time for cleanup. So have a good night. Bye.